And we're back here on the GSMC football podcast. And for the second part of the show, we're now going to talk about the Ravens and their win last night against the Jaguars. Um, so they clinched a playoff berth. Uh, they improved to 11-3 and on the season. They won 23-7. to I mean, this really was not a game. I mean, it was a game for a moment. Um, and the Jags had their opportunities, too. Um, you know, but they... You know, costly mistakes. Trevor Lawrence fumbling. I mean, I, I don't even. First of all, I don't even know how he fumbled. I mean, nobody touched him, and all of a sudden he ju- he's juggling the ball and he and drops it, and the Ravens picked it up. Um, and then you know they're driving to you know try to get some points at the end of the first half, and they're not able to get out of bounds, and they can't spike it to. Well, first they they connect on a big play uh, to Zay Jones, uh, set up first and goal. I think I believe. Um, and then they throw pass and they don't get out of bounds and then they can't clock it in time because they have no timeouts left and they end up not getting any points and they're losing 10, nothing at the half. And their biggest play of the game was that big play to, uh, Jamal Agnew. Um, that was, uh, for 65 yards. That was in the third quarter. So that made it 10 to seven, but they, uh, they didn't score after that. Um, that's it. Well, that's the only time they scored. Uh, the Ravens scored 13 points in the fourth quarter, and they won 23 to seven. Um, Lamar Jackson, he went 14 to 24, 171 yards, one touchdown, and a pick. He was sacked three times. The Ravens ran the ball for 251 yards. Um, Gus Edwards had a rushing touchdown in this game. Lamar Jackson was their leading rusher. He had 97 yards on the uh, on the game. Uh, Keen Mitchell. Who was making plays last night? He had 73 yards rushing, but unfortunately, late in the game, um, he suffered a knee injury, um, and that's not that's not good. Um, they had he had to get carted off. So um, I don't know what. Yeah, so I, I'm looking at it right now. It just says uh, Keaton Mitchell likely out for the season, which is a, which is a big blow. Which is a big blow because he really was um, he was running the football well for them recently and. Uh, you know, that hurts their running game. So it's going to be Justice Hill, Gus Edwards, um, who had 58 yards rushing, um, and Lamar Jackson obviously running the football as well. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it, it's common. I mean, my friend said it in our sports chat last night. I mean, the, these Ravens running backs are always getting hurt, and this is another one, unfortunately, because um, he, 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 he was doing good for them. Um, and then in the receiving game, Isaiah Likely, uh, five receptions for 70 yards and a touchdown. He was their leading um, receiver. Rashad Bateman had three for 39. Um, Zay Flowers and Odell Beckham Jr., guys that had good games last week, Both they had a combined two catches for 21 yards. And I started Zay Flowers in one of my fantasy leagues, and he only got me like two points almost. Um, I did also start Odell too. Uh, one of the leagues we won, it didn't really matter, but uh, the other one um, did not win. I had to start him because I am missing uh, Keenan Allen and Tyreek Hill. So hopefully uh, those guys come back because it's the playoffs now in that league and um, going to need them. So, um, but yeah, that was interesting that um, Odell and Zay Flowers just they, they didn't do anything last night. Um, but the Ravens defense played well. Uh, the Jags again just really could not get anything going on offense outside of the big play to Agnew. Um, it looked like they had a touchdown to Calvin Ridley. They called it incomplete. Doug Peterson challenged it. And, you know, they had, um, you know, uh, Terry McCauley, right? Uh, the the ex-official on, um, their rules expert. And he's like, yeah, he, he looks like he's in. And then they ruled it incomplete. They still ruled it incomplete. And he was just like, that is not incomplete. Because Ridley bobbled it. And then he had possession of it. And it looked like, you know, his one of his legs was still in. Um, but they, uh, no, they, they still ruled it incomplete. So they would have scored a touchdown and that would have been, that would have been big because if they got that in the two point conversion, then it's a one score game, but, uh, nope, that did not happen. And then Trevor Lawrence, uh, you know, in the Jags, their numbers. So he went 25 of 43, 264 yards passing one touchdown, no interceptions. Um, they only ran the ball for 75 yards. So Trevor Lawrence actually was their leading rusher. He had 41 yards rushing. Travis Etienne had 31 yards rushing. Jamal Agnew was their leading receiver. Two receptions for 70 yards and a touchdown. Zay Jones had five for 59. He actually got hurt in this game. Um, uh, so he had to leave the game uh, late. I think that happened in the second. Yeah, it happened late in the second half. 
Uh, Ridley had five for 39. Again, he could have had the touchdown. They didn't call it. Um, but yeah, the Jags, they fold eight and six, and now you got a three-way tie in the uh, in the AFC South, which is not good for the Jags. Um, Texans, they uh, pulled off an upset against the Titans. Now, if the Titans like were contending, I, I would be more upset. But, but still, I mean, how did the Titans blow that? There was no C.J. Stroud, no Nico Collins, no Tank Dell, and they were able to pull off the win with Case Keenum at quarterback, um, and they won in overtime. Uh, Ky- Kyrie, I can't, I can't pronounce his name. Kaimi Fairbairn, there we go. Um, he kicked the game-winning field goal. They won in overtime, and now they're eight and six. And that's a big, that's a big win for the, for the Texans. Um, and the Colts, they won on Saturday against the um against the Steelers so three teams are eight and six so and now uh Trevor Lawrence actually is in concussion protocol so that puts his status for um you know next Sunday up in the air because you know it, 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 who knows what's going to happen now and CJ Beathard could be starting so against the Bucks so Jags could lose that game and they could find themselves um outside of the AFC playoff picture which um, would be insane because it looked like the Jags, especially after that win they had against the Texans a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, um, that they were uh, that they were a lock, you know, for the playoffs. And now, not just the, the division, the playoffs in general. Yeah, it's it, it's in jeopardy right now. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, they just they did not look good, and and um, you know they really um, hurt themselves last night. I mean, again, the turnovers, Trevor Lawrence fumbling, um, you know, and just not being able to, you know, the clock management, not being able to spike it in time to at least get some points. Well, also, I mean, Brandon McManus missed a couple field goals too. I I mean that didn't help. You know, I forgot about that. It just uh, was not a good game for the Jags, but a good good game for the Ravens. And listen, they got a big game coming up against the Niners on Christmas, and that could be a Super Bowl preview. Um, and I know people are talking about Lamar Jackson now as maybe being an MVP candidate. And yeah, I mean, he should be. This te- I mean, this team is the best team right now in the AFC. You know, their defense is playing really well. Lamar's playing well. He's got some. He's finally got weapons to work with, um, even though you really didn't see them that much last night. Um, you know, I'm talking about Zay Flowers. But again, that's me being salty for, you know, losing in one of my uh, fantasy leagues. But um, Ravens are a really good team. And it has a lot to do with Lamar Jackson being healthy. Because what has been the problem with the Ravens the last couple of seasons is Lamar Jackson not being able to stay healthy and getting hurt at this point in the season. Now, knock on wood that that doesn't happen. Um, but you look at, you know, the other teams. I mean, they just beat the Jags. Listen, the Dolphins, they have an explosive offense, but the Ravens with a healthy team, I think they're the better team, you know, and then you got Kansas City, who they're, they got their struggles too, you know, um, they did win yesterday, but right now the Ravens are kind of the better team than them, and, you know, they're 11-3, and three. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, right now the Ravens they're in a good pos- they're they're in a good position, you know, and they just got to keep it rolling. Uh, but obviously injuries continue to, um, you know, affect them. I mean, again, Keaton Mitchell he gets hurt last night. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, um, their uh, their tackle, uh, he was banged up last night. He was in and out of the game, so you know, and that's and that's a problem. But. Um, Listen, as long as their quarterback's healthy, their defense is healthy, I, the Ravens are going to be fine. Um, and we'll see how they perform in the playoffs. And we'll see how they perform next week. Because next week, that's a big, big game for both teams. Because um, this could be possibly a Super Bowl preview between the Ravens and the 49ers. Um, I did say this a, uh, a couple weeks ago, or on one of the recent shows, Um that you got both teams from last year's Super Bowl playing against division rivals. Um, but then the final game of the night, you got possibly, uh, well, you got the two one seeds, but you got possibly a Super Bowl preview right there. Niners and Ravens. Because um, right now, you know, 
both of the both of those teams are the best teams in their respective conferences. I mean, the Niners, you probably put them over the Ravens. Um, but I, I think this game, th this is going to be a competitive game between both teams because both teams have good defenses. Now, how are the Ra how is the Ravens' defense going to match up against the 49ers' playmakers? Again, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, next uh, next Monday. Um, but so in the comments, uh, any updates on Keaton? I can't find any, and usually it's the next day. But yeah, I think it'll be the Super Bowl rematch. Yeah, so I saw that it's likely a season ending season ending injury. Um, so uh, he's gonna be out, unfortunately, because I I happen to just look it up um before um so it, it might be it's probably an ACL. Uh, but again, it's unfortunate because he was running the football well. Um, but again, it's been very common Ravens and their injuries, and especially with their running backs. I mean, l l I mean, last last year, no, two years ago, two years ago, you had Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, and J.K. Dobbins all uh, tear their ACLs, or all just had. Well, two of them had tore their ACLs. I think uh, one of them was an Achilles injury. Um, and they had to bring in Latavius Murray and uh, Devontae Freeman and all these guys. Um, I mean, last year, too, was a problem as well. But two years ago, I mean, they just had to bring up, bring back uh, or sign guys off the streets, you know. And um, this year, I mean, you know, Dobbins gets hurt. You know, he tears his Achilles. Um, but, you know, you still had... You still got Gus Edwards, you still got Justice Hill, and he, but again, Mitchell was making plays, and now he's uh, now he's gonna be uh, gonna be out. So, um, you know, but I, I don't think it's a it's a major loss for them. I mean, I think they'll still be fine, but it, it definitely hurts them. Um, I mean, obviously, you still got Lamar Jackson who can run the football as well, um, but. But we will see. We will see. Uh, I mean, these are two teams going in different directions right now. I mean, the Jags, this is their third loss in a row now um, because they lost last week against the Browns, who we're going to talk about uh, shortly. Um, and then the week before, they lose that, you know, that brutal game to the Bengals where they should have won. I mean, Trevor Lawrence, like, doesn't get hurt. They probably win that game. So now they got a crucial game against the Bucks coming up, and Trevor Lawrence might not be playing because he's in concussion protocol. So, Jags are in trouble. They are in trouble. Um, so, when we get back from our second break of the show, we're going to talk about, you know, I, I referenced them. We'll talk about the Browns and their comeback win against the Bears. But before that, I just want to remind you guys, once again, uh, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link. That is streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.slash tip. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.slash tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So, um, when we come back from our second break of the show, we're going to talk about the Browns, because um, I know a lot of people in the comments, uh, you know, have, uh, you know, been talking about the Browns uh, on, the, on some of the, my, uh, my videos, so... Um, We'll get into that and uh, what happened in that game. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 